Now we're going to talk about some of the surface features on the sun. Now again, the only reason why so many of these surface features actually exist is because of the differential rotation of the sun which causes the magnetic fields to get all twisted up. And once they get all twisted up, all kinds of things happen at the surface. Now the one thing that is not a function of the differential rotation is the bubbling up of the, of the surface of the sun because of the convection currents bubbling the heat from the radiation zone up towards the surface, the photosphere of the sun. And so those bubbling features, they're called granules. And they're about a thousand kilometers across, uh, about 600 miles across, kind of about the size of the state of Texas, if you think about it. So if you think regions on the sun, there's about a half a million or so of these granules that are constantly bubbling up to the surface and sinking back down and bubbling up and sinking back down. As they bubble up, they take the heat from the surface, from the interior, and they become very bright. And as they cool down, they start sinking back into the surface. So you can see here, I have all the different coloration all around the sun. We see all the different bright spots with the granules and then the dark regions right around it where the material sinks back into the sun. We also have regions, now, now granules, they only stay towards the surface for about 20 minutes, so they're very fast moving. They come up, they bubble back down, they come up, bubble back down. So they're very short-lived, about 20 minutes or so. Now there are super granules, which are much larger in size, so where much larger regions of the sun bubble up to the surface. They do so in, in a lot of mass, a lot of quantity, and that may last for as much as a day or two before it sinks back down. Super granules are much bigger than regular granules. They may be as large as 30,000 kilometers across, so much, much larger in size. Now other things that you find in the sun, of course sunspots, we've done a few videos on the sunspots. Again, that's where the magnetic fields prevent the heat from coming to the surface, making it cooler and darker. And then if we look at this, the sunspots, we can see that along the edges of the sunspots, we find a lot of spicules. These are like flame-like like, flame -like structures that shoot up into the, into the atmosphere of the sun as much as five to 10,000 kilometers. They're very thin, they're very high up. They're only probably a few hundred kilometers wide and thousands of kilometers tall, and they, they spew hot gas up from the surface and fall back down, so they have this continual motion of spicules around the edges of the, of the sunspots. Other things that we see on the surface is things such as filaments. I don't know if there's a good picture of them here, but yeah, you can see these dark streaks along the sun. Uh, they're not as visible in this uh, particular light that the picture was taken with a lot of x-ray uh, light that's being computerized and turned back into a, a visual picture. But if you take pictures at the visual level, you can see sometimes these filaments in the sun. And these are simply regions where the magnetic field lines have taken material up away from the surface of the sun. It's been allowed to cool down and from the cooling it becomes darker and it just kind of hangs above the surface before it falls back into the sun. And so you can see these filaments sometimes during the high activity portions of the solar cycle where you can find those across the surface. Other things that you sometimes see is very bright regions on the sun, like very bright spots like that you can see there and there and there. And so those are called plages. Plages are from the French word beach where you can see the white hot sand of the beach and so that's kind of from that, from that word. And so again, you see these bright, hot regions all around the sun. Again, you see those more during the high activity cycles versus the low activity cycles. Another thing that you sometimes see that is not very long lasting, what we would call a solar flare. Sometimes the magnetic fields, they prevent the heat from escaping and in a small region, the gases heat up to very, very high temperatures and then they just kind of burst open from the surface and cause a solar flare to exist. So those happen every once in a while. Um, and when they do, it's a big outburst of material, a big outburst of energy that comes from the, from the surface of the sun. Sometimes what we also see is the magnetic field lines is jumping way up, sometimes as much as 100 to 150,000 kilometers above the surface of the sun, the magnetic field lines going way out away from the surface like that, and they grab a lot of material, pull a lot of material up, because the plasma material of the sun is, of course, nothing but electrons and protons, and the nuclei of atoms, they're all positively or negatively charged. Magnetic fields, they have a lot of influence on moving charges. And so when magnetic fields are on the move, they pull along a lot of these, char a lot of these charged material and pull it up off the surface of the sun 
form those huge arches. And I believe this picture has one of those uh, right here. Here's a nice prominence that's enormous in size. Take a look at the size of the sun. The earth being only, you know, this big compared to the sun. And look how large these prominences can be. And those last for typically hours to about a half a day to a day. And then the material that falls back to the surface of the sun. It's simply a magnetic field line just going berserk, pulling a lot of material up. Off the, and then the, gravity, the gravitational force of the sun pulls everything back down. So you can see that once the magnetic fields begin all get all twisted up, all these surface features begin to appear until the solar cycle is over, the whole magnetic field system resets itself, the magnetic field lines are now nice and smooth, and the whole surface of the sun calms down until the cycle starts again and all these surface features start coming back. That's the sun and what it looks like when the, when the magnetic field lines Go crazy.